You know what's crazy? Ants, those tiny little bugs we see crawling on the ground. They're doing things we don't even notice. They build cities underground, take care of babies, fight battles, grow food, and even bury their dead. All of that without anyone telling them what to do. No leader, no voice, just teamwork. Now, imagine this. What if we could watch their lives not just for a day, not for a week, but for 1,000 years? Yeah, 1,000 years of ants. Let's say we shrink ourselves down, small enough to walk beside them, and then press play on a simulation that runs for a whole millennium what would we see? At the start, it's simple. A small queen ant finds a quiet spot underground. She starts laying eggs. Day by day, those eggs turn into her first workers. They dig. They clean. They take care of her. They protect the nest. Then it grows. Tunnels stretch like long arms underground. New chambers for food. Others for eggs. Some become nurseries. Some become graveyards. In just a few years, it's already a small city. But this is just the beginning. As the decades roll by, new generations take over. Some ants go out to hunt. Others farm a kind of fungus deep underground. A few even raise tiny bugs like cows. Yes, ants do that, to collect their sweet honeydew. But life isn't easy. There are storms that flood their homes fires that burn the forest above, even enemy ants that try to invade. Every time, the colony fights back. They rebuild. They adapt. They survive. A hundred years in, their ways of living begin to shift. Some start digging deeper, away from danger. Others build extra tunnels for air. Some even move their whole nest. And here's what's amazing. They don't argue about it. They just know what to do. Now we reach year 300. Maybe the queen that started it all is long gone, but her legacy lives on in her children and their children and so on. By now, this colony is an empire. Thousands, maybe millions of ants, a living, breathing machine. They don't stop. They can't stop. Every moment, something's happening underground something we can't see. Then year 600. The world above has changed. Maybe people came. Maybe they built roads, cut trees, poured concrete. The ants move again, quietly, silently, starting over just a few feet away. But for them, it's survival. For them, it's home. And finally, year 1000. A thousand years of digging, fighting, growing, adapting, living, and still, they're there, still working, still together. When we look at ants, they seem small, unimportant. But when you zoom in, really zoom in, they show us something beautiful. They teach us what it means to keep going, no matter what, to build, to protect, to take care of one another, even when no one's watching.